how does this come in handy? You can create your own environment and superimpose or composite your character into it. If you click on download, you see you can take a screenshot or you can do a high quality mesh GLB or a collider mesh, any of these. So if you do any of these, you can import it into your 3D software, for instance, like Unreal Engine or Blender, Unity, or whichever gaming software that you use. Now, before I wrap up, you can still make some modification to this scene. And for you to do that, you just click on keep editing. So if you click this, it brings you here. So you see you have some options here. So if you click on panel from world, it opens up this interface for you. So if you come down here, it says select edit area. So I'll click on this, maybe come here and do this. Add a potted plant. I'll click on apply edits. So as you can see, it has successfully added a potted plant here. So this can be anything. You might decide to add a statue here or whatever it is that suits your creative vision. If I come back here, this is the original and this is it with the potted plan. So if you're okay with this, what you need to do is to create world and it will integrate whatever changes you've made into your scene. This tool, it's free. However, it also has a paid version. So let's go ahead and see how much it costs to use this platform. If you check their subscription plan, they have the free version, which is $0 per month, and it gives you 7,000 credits, right? They also have the $20 plan, which is a standard plan. But the interesting thing is, if you sign up for the pro version, which is $35, you get to pay $1 for the first month, which is good. And with that, it gives you 40,000 free credits. Go ahead and sign up and play with it and see what you can pull out from it.